Hello everybody, it's Jamie from Heavenly Dreams Dairy Goats and I am making some lotion today and then I gotta go check the goats. I gotta run to the feed mill to get them their um, Magnum Milk Mineral so I could put it in with the girls. Um, I got quite a fit, quite a bit to do today. I got some packages to run off. Thank you to Blue Cactus Dairy Goats for mentioning me. I've got probably about six orders from um, the subscribers who subscribed. I want to thank everybody who came from her channel and subscribed to me. Thank you so much for that. I hope you guys all enjoy the videos that we will be posting in the future and my past videos. So please and thank you. Just know that I am grateful to have you guys all here. I am making um, a very large quadruple batch of um, lotion because I got so many people who already ordered all my lotion and soap bags that I had got. So I had to make those up because this weekend on um, Sunday we'll be in Three Rivers at a craft fair so I needed product to actually bring to there too. So I'm going to be doing the so or the lotion and get all that done and go to the feed mill, grab the Magnum Milk Sweet Licks Mineral Mix that I I have for the girls and I got to get that in their feeder and then we will um, check the goats real quick and that'll be this whole video so just bear with me I'm just gonna give you a little bit of shoot of what I'm doing here I got to mix the shea butter up with the oils that I got mixed up right now so I'll just set the phone down and go from there and I got the milk and water in the microwave right now I'm um, heating up it's got to be to a very light boil because it's got to um, uh, sort of pasteurize the milk but I add an all-natural prevent or preservative into it too so that helps it and right now my lotions have lasted more than a year without spoiling which is great and I love this all-natural um, preservative that I do use so um, stay tuned So all this is is shea butter and with some um, avocado oil, some autumn oil, some emulsifying wax, and some citric acid. And like I said, this is a, a quadruple batch. You're not supposed to melt the shea butter at all, um, like in the microwave. They don't recommend you to do that because it will actually burn the shea butter. So what you do is you heat the, the olive oil, the sweet autumn oil, the emulsifying wax, and the citric acid up together. And then you add the shea butter in there to help meld it. I've done another um, goat milk lotion video too. It's in, I don't know where I have it at, probably under goat milk beauty products. But, um, We're going to be making a lot more soaps during this winter and probably a lot more lotions because I'm going to get prepared for the farmer's markets. I'm dead set on going this coming year so I'm going to have to really buckle down and get some product made because soaps take eight weeks to cure. Um, the longer they actually cure, um, the longer the bar will last with getting water on it. All these bars that are being sent out and are going to be at my craft fair, they are probably four or five months old, so they will last quite a while for anybody who's using them. I use them every day. I got them in the bathrooms. I got them out here at the kitchen. I use them when I shower. A bar probably lasts me about six weeks or so, and that's if I'm showering every day. Um, 
There's just an itty bitty little piece still in here and I'm trying to get dissolved. And then I gotta watch my milk solution. There. That's completely done now. So we can move that out of the way. And then we will check the milk and I've got like 15 seconds left so I'm gonna check that and I will put the video back on when I'm mixing it together it'll be loud because I got to use my stick mixer to mix it and then um, we'll just finish the video out otherwise I did not record that because I forgot to but this is about the consistency you want it to be able to stick it into your your um, containers because it gets really thick quick and, and the more you beat it with your blender the thicker it will get so I always wait till then then I'm gonna take that and start filling these so that's what I'm gonna be doing so that quadruple batch only made 12 8 ounce bottles and you have to measure on here exactly 8 ounces of lotion in there. They're still warm as you can hear but this does get quite thick when it sits in the bottle and cools down. Um, if it's too thick all you got to do is take the lid off, put it in the microwave for about 10 seconds, put the lid back on it, shake it up and it will it'll um, loosen up a little bit to where you can get it out because I've had some people say it was too thick but they liked it because it lasts hours on your skin and I'm talking hours even to wash your hands it still lasts there the scent lasts a long long time I've been told my lotions are better than bath and what is that bath and body lotions um they just they last a long long time and you get the benefits of the goat's milk on top of that this is all that I had left that itty bitty little blob in there which I'll probably end up taking out and putting a little two little jar and then I'll use it myself I can't make no more I'm almost out of my my um, citric acid so I need to order more of this and I'm completely out of my preservative which I use Optium I think is how it's pronounced but I gotta order some more of that before I can make any more and I'm I, that's a minor folk, emulsifying wax, but I've got a whole nother bottle of that. And then I've got, this is all avocado oil, which I got that. And that's what I got left of my sweet autumn oil. And this is another packet of shea butter. So I got plenty of other stuff um, to make more lotion. And I wanted to let you guys know what the uh, scent was. I mixed deluxe vanilla fragrance oil with coconut oil. These are my two favorite scents when you mix them together. They are mouth-watering, the smell of them. It just makes my mouth water, and I love the scent of, of mixing the two together. So that's what this is. Ten of these are going to go to a customer who she's going to give them out to a Christmas party. Um, and I've got her soaps over here because she did a... She didn't want me to put them in gift bags, so I'm just going to package it like this. Put the 10 in there, and this is going to get shipped off today. I've got another package right there that is a lotion and um, soap gift bag. i got to shut my water off. I want all that stuff to soak really good. Um, but other than that, it's that's what we've got going on. Well, I put the mineral in there, and somehow the divider keep from the minerals all coming out. The bolt's gone, so now I gotta. I had to hold the bag there because I didn't realize it, so it didn't go all over the ground. Get your poop in your water, and then that is the bag that I have left. She just pooped in the water. That's just Anna. You're just disgusting. Dessa, quit. Hey, quit. That is not to rub your freaking head on. You guys are going to end up breaking that. But that's, 
last girls here. House has got a little baby bell coming on. Got little old Mavis running. She don't really look like she's pregnant, but that doesn't mean she's not. Anna's got a little baby belly coming on. Bella's got one. Hi, Elsa. What you doing? That's the girls. I'm gonna head back home. It's freezing out. Try to figure out if I can find a nut that will fit this and come back tomorrow. And see if I can put that in there and get it the rest of there. This pen needs cleaned out again. It's freaking wet in here. But. Carrot, what are you doing? Rubbing your lips on me? Cinderella? She's really deep bodied. But that's the goats. There's our boys. Zeus is the black one, Zoro is the brown one. Zeus is the sire of all our kids this coming March. I want to thank everybody for watching the video. Hope everybody learned something. Comment, subscribe, like our videos. We could sure use the growth. And thank you everybody for watching. God bless.